Welcome to Camp Seggy. We're so glad you're here this week. But before we start, we're going to go over some rules. This is Camper Susie. It's Susie's first time ever at Camp Seggy. She's so excited to be here, but she doesn't know many rules. Let's get started. First, when you're playing at free time, you can use any of the balls at the equipment area. But when you knock one out of bounds, make sure you get a counselor to go get it. Susie! You left the boundaries of camp. What are the boundaries of camp? Good question, Susie. The boundaries of camp go along the fence and the tree line behind the cabins. The fence stretches along the front and also wraps around the shed. Follow the long grass along the edge of the camp and along the back field. You shouldn't go past the long grass. The boundaries of camp also extend behind the deep woods. Susie! Don't go in the shed. Why not? Because if you do, you will get hurt. Ah! Susie! What? You can't go to the beach without a counselor. Okay. While here at Camp Segi, it's very important to be in the right place at the right time. Uh-oh. Susie threw the ball at a bounce. You know what to do this time, Susie. There you go. Thanks, Kristen. You rock. Also, when you're done playing, make sure to put all the equipment away. Susie! Where are these voices coming from? Be in the right place at the right time. Make sure you're always wearing shoes in the main building. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our Susie has broken quite a few of camp rules just then. Let's review. Even if you don't like something, try it. Don't run through the kitchen as a shortcut. The employee's only door means employees only. So no running through the offices. And of course, don't push anyone. 
There, she's trying your broccoli. On the rare chance that you meet the love of your life here at Camp Segi, there are some specific rules you must follow. Susie! No boys are allowed in girl cabins and vice versa. If boys are blue and girls are pink, don't make purple. <laughs> if you ever want to go into the ropes course, make sure that there's at least one counselor with you and never go somewhere alone with the opposite gender. Oh. And watch out for those clotheslines. Boys and girls should always be six inches apart. Isn't that right, Ashley? And now, for a few ropes course rules. First of all, be sure you always have shoes on. Also, it's very important that you don't run. There's lots of fun activities to do in the ropes course, but make sure that you're doing them all correctly. Otherwise, you could get hurt. So, be careful. There are some things that you're not allowed to bring to Camp Seiki. No lighters. No slingshots. Or any other kind of dangerous weapon. There is also no alcohol, tobacco, or peanut butter allowed at camp. No firearms either. Now it's time for Susie to go to the pool. But, as always, there's some rules that she has to learn before going in. Welcome to the pool. Let's go over some rules. Now you see, there should be nobody in this pool, for I'm not in here. Pool goblin. <laughs> the next rule, there should be no eating or drinking on the pool deck. <laughs> that pool goblin. Why can't you be more like little Ray Ray? I can't wait to go in the saggy swimming pool. Sunscreen's important. At the pool here, there's only two spots to jump in. I can't wait to jump in the same swimming pool. One, two. Right foot, left foot. Gotta get ready to jump. It's all in the knee. <laughs> Pool Goblin demonstrates our next rule of what not to do. No pushing or running at the Camp Seggy pool. Oh, the pool. No, wait, Mr. Goblin, no, stop! No, 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 don't die! Oh, no, no! I could have saved him if I had ran, but I, that's against the rules. I would have hurt myself. Oh, golly. He's okay, though. There's absolutely no diving at the Camp Seggy pool, not even from the jump lines. I'm not getting that one. The Camp Seggy swimming pool is so much fun! Whee! Horseplay! No 
horseplay while in the pool. Great job! Terrific! I just passed my swim test at the Camp Sankey swimming pool. Now I can go into the deep end. Oh, this rope looks old. I know, I'm gonna plug my nose and I'm gonna dive right under it. But I'm not really gonna dive because that's the case of the rules. Here it goes! Whee! Ah, 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 I'm on the rope! I disrespect authority! Ah, ah, ah. And another important rule, don't go in the pool shed. Yay! I can't wait to go on the Wibbit. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Whoa! You must wait for your counselor in order to get your life jackets on and go down to the Wibbit. Okay. Wow, the Camp Sagey Wibbit sure is fun. I guess now that I'm done with it and this life jacket, I should take it off and put it on one of these safety hooks. I guess I should shake it off first. Thanks, Taylor Swift. Get my clothes. And now I should wait for my counselor before I leave. Hi, I'm the Pool Goblin, and you might remember me from such videos as my workout video, Giddy Goblins, in the 2011 Pool Rules video. But despite all the fun we've had today, there are some serious rules at the pool. Isn't that right? That's right, Mr. Goblin. But if we listen to all these rules, we'll have a great time at the Camp Siggy pool. Just like little Ray Ray always says, If you listen to what the lifeguards say, that keeps the goblin at bay. I understand completely. All of these rules are very important. But the most important rules are about respect. Respect people. Respect the place. Be in the right place at the right time. That means listen to your counselor when they tell you something. Respect your property by cleaning up after yourself. And always make sure your counselor knows where you are. We hope you have a wonderful week here at Camp Sagey. Have fun!